Hey guys, Consumer Will, and I'm here today uh, to, to show you a couple different options for batteries. Um, I've been using these uh, nickel metal low self discharge turnages. Uh, they're rated one and a half volts, and um, they take approximately you know overnight to charge, and you have to use this big charger and stuff like that. I recently discovered these Zinter cells. They're lith they're actual lipo batteries in built into them is a little charge processor thing uh, so when you plug in the micro USB um, with this charge cable so it just plugs into USB and then the micro plugs into the cell there's a little red light that comes on and when that light goes off um, it basically means that the battery is completely charged now my favorite transmitter of choice is a FlySky FSI 6 for RC sailing uh, it's great because it has the um, telemetry, it has all the channels, it, it's a comfortable transmitter uh, and quite reliable actually. So the nice thing is that it does take four AA style batteries. The problem is that they're all grooved and there's no plug-in like the, on the Turnergy, there's, it's all flat, flattened and you can actually put a, a life battery pack in there. Um, like I mean the life battery pack you're looking at about seven eight bucks and then you have to modify the, the carriage if you want and then you know you have to be handy with a soldering iron to solder into the positive and negatives and all that and you know it's not not too bad of a mod to do it's just that um, it, it really kind of to me I don't really like to hack up radios much but uh, which is why I've kind of done the, the nickel metal thing for a while so in comparison, like, I mean, one of these is like 225, 210 each. One of these though is between 450 and $5. So you're getting, these things will cost you twice as much as these. This has a capacity of 2200 milliampers. This has a capacity of 1250. So you're getting basically twice as much capacity out of the nickel metals, but you're getting a lower voltage. Um, and you, you need a bigger charger and the charge time is, is different too as well. This, this will charge in an hour and a half, up to an hour and a half. This will probably take, you know, probably an overnight thing, four to six hours to charge up uh, with this EBL charger that I have. So, um, you know, you kind of have to weigh those out uh, when you're picking these things up. Um, I like the idea that these are going to hold at uh, one and a half volts throughout the range. Um, you know, if you're, you're putting your model out f further out and stuff, you want that extra voltage just to make sure that it's, uh, it's connecting with your receiver and all that. So, so that's why I kind of went with these. Um, these will cycle about 3000 times. Um, these will cycle approximately the same. So it's kind of up to you guys. Now I have a scale here and what we're going to do is we're going to weigh uh, how much a set of four weighs and they'll give you, you know, divide that by four to give you an average cell um, cell weight. So I'll just boot up the scale here and we'll just go down here. Okay, so let's wait. So these are the nickel metals weighing at 113 grams. And we'll weigh four of these lipo ones. 70 grams. So you're saving about 43 grams, I guess, on a set of these. Um, so, you know, there's a bit of weight savings if you want to put it inside your boat. Um, I think for the Dragon Force, you need something like 48 grams. So these are about 20 grams a bit over. Uh, but it'll, it'll give you a pretty good voltage and as an alternative to if you want to just c carry on using that AA battery case and all that. Uh, you would have to cover up this little micro USB hole though. Okay, so just to give you an idea of the voltage, I'm going to put in four of these nickel metal cells. Alright, so there, that's showing as 5.48 volts. Okay, and take a look at what these lipos are going to come up as. Alright. 
So you see here it's uh, 5.99 and it actually is up to 6 volts now. So um, you know they, they'll hold there for quite a while and when you do start seeing them drop off because they're with the whole lipo thing uh, you want to make sure you you know you kind of pay a bit more attention to that part of it uh, whereas the the nickel metals kind of have this slow little drain um, on there so anyways uh, the, the zinter cells are in my product or in the description down below so you click on that it'll take you right to the hobby king page that, that where they sell them and um, happy sailing um, you know, make up your mind on a save the planet kind of thing. Uh, <laughs> recharge yourselves. Cheers. Bye.